We can also apply hybridization to chemicals that have multiple bonds, either double bonds or triple bonds. For example, in this Lewis structure, we notice that each carbon has a steric number of three. There are two ligands and or three ligands around each carbon atom. Two of them are hydrogens and the third is the other carbon. Steric number of two matches a hybridization of sp2. So this bond between the carbon and the hydrogen comes from the carbon using an sp2 hybridized orbital and the hydrogen uses an unhybridized 1s orbital. The same thing is true for this carbon-hydrogen bond. One of the bonds between the two carbons comes from the sp2 of the carbon on the left overlapping an sp2 orbital from the carbon on the right. But the question now is what about that second bond? The second bond is called a pi bond and whether it's a double bond or triple bond after the first bond any multiple bonding is always from the overlap of unhybridized p orbitals here is the hybridization that give us sp2 hybridized orbitals and notice one of the p orbitals is not hybridized so that is left in its normal state so we have a carbon on the left that has an unhybridized p orbital like this here is the sp2 sp2 bond that's made the carbon on the right has an unhybridized p orbital and the overlap between these gives rise to this double bond. The first bond that's made between two atoms is called a sigma bond. And the sigma bond is sigma because it's along the internuclear axis. So that just means you have the nucleus of one atom, the nucleus of the other, this bond is between those two nuclei. A pi bond is always from unhybridized p orbitals overlapping and this is either above or below. It's both above and below the plane of this internuclear axis. So here is our sigma bond in red and then the pi bond is one bond but it's both above the plane and it's below the plane of that internuclear axis. So we write it like this and there are only two bonds there not three. This picture might look like there's three bonds but the pi bond is not along the axis where the nuclei are it's above and below that axis.